Philadelphia, the Illadelph. We want to get into some breaking news we're following here at 5 o'clock, and it involves a deadly shooting as we take these images from Chopper 6. We're being told that two campaign workers were handing out political flyers and that both of the workers were armed with guns. Some type of dispute must have happened here. The preliminary information is that the 46-year-old may have pulled the gun on the 22-year-old, and the 22-year-old then shot the 46-year-old. Uh, and that the 22-year-old did stay on the scene and is cooperating right now with hom- <laughs> You can't even fucking canvas and pass out flyers for, like, these are, they're putting door hangers and fucking flyers on people's fucking doorknobs and shit and people's, um, putting f- uh, flyers on people's mailbox for, camp for, for, like, people running for city council and shit. And two of them, I guess, might have been working with for different candidates and an argument starts and it leads to a fucking shooting. Mm, that's pretty deep. That's pretty late. Yo. This is black America. The link in the um, yeah um, the link let me put the link in the, the description box man. But yeah I mean what are we talking about here, man? Jordan Neely? Are you serious? Yeah, what do you, yeah, I'm sorry. What do you mean? Jordan Neely? Yo, you got problems. That Jordan, that Jordan Neely shit. That Jordan Neely shit is literally um it's so disrespectful. But it's typical though. It's also typical. You got two campaign, black campaign workers that just smoked each other. One smoked the other one. Hey, in all actuality, wicked, though. That's not, that's like not like, that's not like some people leading that shit, bro. We're following the wave on that Jordan Neely shit, bro. You don't, you don't think that all this, like, not even Neely, but people like him, like, Tamir Rice, George Floyd, Blake. We don't lead none of that shit. Salute to salute to um um my man Aaron man with the with the cash app and salute to my man on um Rumble man Rumble stepping their game up man salute to Rumble Rob hey. D twenty one twelve says Clown World shout I, out to you man shout I, out to you recognize you and give you shit me more like you respecting you let me let me say this right quick. I talk the way I talk around everybody. So here's, here's the thing. If I'm around sons and we're talking about the game, I'm not going to just start talking about Trump and fucking niggas violence. <laughs> I'm going to talk about the game. But if the conversation shift into some political shit or into some like um, community shit, I talk the same way I talk here. But I don't go running around forcing this shit down some in Paul's throat. You know what I'm saying? I don't be doing that shit. But yeah, if it comes to this, I'm the same person you see here. So of course, some men don't like that. But it is what it is, man. Why do you say that? I what makes you say that? <laughs> hey, they just some men don't some men some men don't like that shit, man. They don't like anything that's not like democratically. Democrat bullshit and propaganda. You know that, man. Come on, man. Go ahead, man. What you gonna say though? With um Cook County. Oh uh, yeah, just talk to these people about how we're not leading this shit. That's not like us leading this shit, bro. We're yeah. following the wave on this shit. We wouldn't know about Jordan Neely, bro, yeah. unless these motherfucking white liberals led that shit. That's true. That, is that is that true? That's interesting. I'd never I mean I thought it was some people that were nah we don't organize like you talking about organizing those protesters are paid. Somebody had to pay those protesters to get them down there. Somebody had to organize all the shit. Nah, we we, we would have just been mad about it on the news, but we wouldn't, we, we wouldn't <laughs> well, well, have well what about like uh like Kurt, what about that group good kids bad mad city? Um the sisters be on it, bro. Every time I look up, it's a sister bugging out for some yeah from the Man, they get told they get told at first, bro. They so but the gliders gotta organize first. Gliders organize first. They they plan a spot, whatever it is. 
And then that's when the good kid, Mad City, come to join in. And then they exactly. get a press conference. That's about it. Yeah. Salute man, to um, Osa, man. What's up, Osa? What's going Osa? on, man? Hey, what's up, y'all? What's up, Chicago in the building? Cook, Crook yeah. County. D.C., D.C. Hey, man. Hey, I'm just listening. I just got here, man. I don't know what yeah, that is. I got a story man. out of D.C., too. Woo, I mean, I already know him, Mo. I already know him, Mo. <laughs> He's stupid, man. Sure. What's, what's up, up, Ray Wall? What's going on? Yo, what's going on? I... Ain't nothing, man. I'm hanging, man. Um, uh, where, where, what city are you from again, Ray Wall? Uh, I'm in Jersey. Jersey. Outside of New York. Yeah, outside of New York. Mm. What, what city? What city? Uh, West Orange. Mm. Oh, ain't that the nice part? Yeah, East yeah. Orange is the bad part. East Orange yeah. is the bad part. Oh, okay. And it involves a deadly shooting as we take these images from Chopper 6. We're being told that two campaign workers were handing out political flyers and that both of the workers were armed with guns. Some type of dispute must have happened here. The preliminary information is that the 46-year-old may have pulled the gun on the 22-year-old and the 22-year-old then shot the 46-year-old uh, and that the 22-year-old did stay on the scene and is cooperating right now with homicide. And the 46-year-old person who was shot in this is said to have died from this incident. Yeah, again, you know, Chopper 6 over the city's Ogon section. We'll be investigating the shooting involving two people, perhaps campaign workers out at the time. Of course, the primary is next week. We're going to continue to follow this breaking news story. We can't do anything without violence, man. No other group is like this. And that's what I'm talking about with this Chris Brown and Usher thing. You'll never see Kenny Chesney and Blake Shelton fucking fighting and shit. No, like, just like the Oscars. It had to be us. Chris Rock and fucking Will oh, Smith. Now it's yeah. Usher and Chris Brown. It's always legend. Our legends are more violent than the fucking all the other. Like, just take our, our star, our celebrity class. They're fucking more violent than just regular gliders. Right. Than poor gliders. Information <laughs> as it becomes available to us from the city's Ogon section. She's insane. 